Fine. Phil, congratulations, you're into the semi-finals of the World Seniors. Not as eye-catching as last night, but just as effective. Yeah, it was effective, I got there at the end of the day, but I think uh, Larry let me off at certain points in the match. Um, he gave me just that little bit of latitude to try and get me going back together. Um, but he, he couldn't put so much pressure on you, but it was spells in the, especially getting near the end. You know, his pressure wasn't quite as great, but you know that's that's the way it works some days. Second set was the turning point. He was in front, but he gave you a chance. And a wily old fox like yourself, you can't be given those chances because then you run away with it like you did. Well, I like to do that, but it doesn't always work, <laughs> Phil. But as you see from the online live league, you know sometimes it don't go right. <laughs> then on. But no, it went well, went well tonight so far on that on that bit. What was it? What was it like knowing, from the tournament point of view, that Phil's Phil's gone? And now all eyes are on you in the final game of the evening. Well, I don't know really. I didn't really give that a second thought, to be honest. I've got to be honest, I didn't. You know, the fact that Phil had lost it, yeah, didn't cast it another thought really. But uh, fair play to Kevin. What was it like out there? Because the atmosphere was red hot and you were the fans' favourite. You were the darling of the circus talent this evening. Oh, yeah, there was a bunch of lads off to the left. Uh, they, were, <laughs> they were just phenomenal. Phenomenal guys. Uh, they were quite vocal, which uh, I haven't had for the last couple of days, but you know, they're good. Going they're enjoying the, themselves. Going into the final day, two games away now. What would it mean to be the first person to lift this trophy? Obviously, you've lifted the Lakeside World Championship three times, but to be the first name on this trophy, would that be right up there as a career moment? Absolutely. It would be rather special because when I've seen some of the trophies that I've won, such as the, you know through the lakeside when you see the first name on that trophy you know the people that won it Leighton Reese and different trophies I've had and you see the first names some trophies have great history on them and you know it's great to be great to be the first name on it yeah do you still get nervous heading into big games not so much these days no I wouldn't say nervous no I like to get their first leg out of the way because usually I'm rubbish so it gives me something to build on <laughs> How do you approach tomorrow? Because it's, it's a long day if you're to win it. Best of seven and then best of nine in, in the final. Is it important that you do the right things in the break if you win the first one? Well, yeah, you have to give it a little bit of thought and make sure you, you do what you consider the right things. But yeah, whether they are the right things or the wrong things is another matter. But yeah, you give it some thought and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not sort of like my first rodeo of playing two big matches in one day. So, you know, you just try and cast my mind back a little bit. What did I do there? What did I do there? You know, so try and remember what you the way to approach it, really. Right, congratulations and thank you very much as Thank always. you, Phil. Thank you. Martin, you think Murray, sure. Murray was feeling a little bit fatigued towards the end of the two games in the day? Yeah, I think it was right at the end. I think he was feeling a little fatigued, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tough call to do two, two games in one day, yeah. You know, you play this afternoon. And you, it's one of those things, you build yourself up for the match, and when you played your match, you come down, then you've got to build yourself up again. That's one of the toughest things to do. Do you feel the match practice, all the games you've had over the last year, even during lockdown, could help you tomorrow too, potentially long games? Oh, of course it will, yeah. I mean, the, the fact with the online live league, the fact that you're, you're, you play, say, your first up on the day, and then there might be, there's two games, and you might be on the th fourth game or the fifth game. So, you, you know, you constantly you're, you're looking at the drop, where am I playing next, where am I playing next, have I got one gap, two gap, or whatever. If, so, yeah, that helps, in my view. Yeah, and Terry Jenkins, someone who's kind of gone under the radar a little bit this weekend, what are you expecting from Terry? He might have gone under your radar, but he ain't gone under mine, he's, a, he's dangerous. He always has been, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a demon on the dartboard when he gets going. I just hope, you know, if I need to play him at some point, he's not playing too well. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Mike, the final four left, at least three of them have played consistent darts, you would say, over the last couple of years. Do you think that's what's setting the, those players apart from the rest of the field this weekend? Quite probable, yes. Because, I mean, if you do get some level of match practice, um, you know, in particular, where you're playing against consistently good players as well, that all makes a difference. We know before this weekend started, John played much on that, that surface tavern stage at all. Are you, are you still getting used to the atmosphere at all? Or? Well, atmospheres are different, and no matter where you get different venues, provide different atmospheres. Um, this one has started off in many ways by, if you base it against the PDC terms, it's been quite sedate. Mm -hmm. 
um, which I quite like, but it's livened up quite a lot tonight. Uh, you know, that's something else, another thing that's happening, so you just deal with it. Brilliant, we wish you the best of luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.